Hi, this is Chris McLoon with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. I am here with Frank Flores of Armor Express. He is the National Sales Director for the Fire and EMS segment. And he's going to talk to us today a little bit about uh, ballistic vests as well as how active shooter incidents have, have changed the way fire departments operate and prepare. So why don't, you, why don't you start me off, Frank, with how active shooter incidents have affected the way fire departments and EMS departments prepare for uh, such incidents. Absolutely. So, um, you know, across the nation, the preparedness for active shooter or hostile events has really taken off on the training side. Fire departments are training every day to respond to these situations and these events, and they need to be prepared with ballistic armor, ballistic helmets, and also rifle plate protection for these type of events. Okay. When when we think about ballistic vests, there are all kinds of different images come to your mind. Mm. What what is the could you describe the differences between what a police officer would wear in terms of, ballist, of a ballistic vest versus what firefighters and paramedics would wear? It's actually pretty much the same components. On the police officer, law enforcement side, they're wearing it 10 hours a day. Uh, you know, the, the whole goal is to get it lighter, to get it thinner, to have that same level of protection across the board. On a response, on, a, on an active shooter response or a hostile event response, um, sometimes the lightweight of the armor, the thickness of the armor really doesn't play a major role because they're only using it for these response. So the ballistics could have a little bit more of a construction where it stops a little bit more, a little bit more rigorous testing. And then also because of budgetary restraints, the price points a little bit less for the fire and paramedic service versus law enforcement. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, what types of uh, what types